What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the JLab Audio Rewind Retro Wireless On-Ear Headphones in Black. I picked up at Best Buy for $15.99 down from $19.99. Out of five stars, these retro wireless headphones get 4.3 out of five out of 652 customer reviews. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions to find out if these headphones are any good. Uh, these look really cool. They look like something I would wear in the 90s on a subway in New York, uh, listening to my Sony Walkman, for example. Retro is definitely in, it's a cool style. These headphones actually look great. I'm pretty sure I've reviewed a couple of their items on this channel before, namely the wireless earbuds. Even though these aren't wireless earbuds, they are wireless, but because they are on-ear headphones, I do expect them to sound just a little bit better than uh, what's really cool. If we actually take a look at the box here, you can pretty much see that uh, you get a 12 hour playtime with these headphones, which is pretty good actually. Uh, some wireless earbuds can go up to about 24 hours. Not only do these, uh, not have as long of a battery life as wireless earbuds, but you only are able to charge them once. So uh, you could probably charge them up before you leave, but then once you do leave the house, uh, because they don't have a wireless charging case, uh, you're pretty much going to be left with either charging them at your office or wherever you're going. But if we actually just flip the box over to the back, you can pretty much get a good idea of the feature set here. One thing I want to point out is at the bottom left-hand corner of the box, you do get an idea of what is included, extra ear cups and a USB charging cable. This is interesting because I think your first question is going to be, do these come with an aux cable or do they come with an aux cable with a built-in microphone? And the answer to that is no, these are totally wireless. But the good news here is that they do actually have a built-in mic and what's also pretty interesting is it does look like they include uh, some sort of touch panel on the side of the headphones. So one thing I think you'll probably be questioning here is do these have some sort of fold up design? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. So what's actually going to be really important that we know here is the build quality of the headphones themselves. They need to be a pretty rugged, durable design. Uh, they are a pretty small pair of headphones these definitely look like you would wear them with a Walkman, for example. That was a pretty small device for the time. Uh, the last time I actually reviewed a pair of headphones this cheap were from Walmart. I was not impressed with them, but you can see you get this pretty nice aluminum headband at the top here, and it actually sort of has this black rubber piece beneath it to give it some added structure to keep it composed, because I think if it didn't have that black piece underneath the headband, you would probably be able to just uh, adjust these metal headbands any way you'd want and they'd probably stay that way. But as you can see, it is kind of springy. And as you can see, when I'm pulling the headphones apart, there's no creaking or cracking. They're actually extremely flexible and very well built. Uh, if we actually take a look at the side of the headphone here, you do get plastic pieces, but it's a nice, good quality plastic. These don't feel cheap at all. Uh, you also get these little foam ear cups here. They're orange. What's also really nice is if you don't like the orange, maybe they might stand out a little bit too much. Uh, you can actually replace them with the included black pair. Sometimes I have to adjust one side differently from the other. So what's really nice is these should be pretty much fully adjustable. Earlier I did say that there was a touch panel included, but it's actually a button here on the side of the headphone. It is a pretty nice tactile, very solid clicky button, which is good to see. Uh, what's actually pretty nice about buttons is they're easy to figure out. They do give feedback. So, but I did actually have to consult the user manual to figure out how to charge these. What's also cool is it goes over how to use the button controls on the side of the ear cup to basically answer phone calls, skip uh, tracks, rewind tracks, etc. Like I said, these do have a built-in mic, but what's actually really cool about the design of these headphones, uh, like I said, I couldn't find the charging port. These are so minimalist and streamlined that, you know, you pretty much don't have a place to put the charge port 
on the outside here of the frame. Uh, these are so light you could probably just plug them into the wall and hang them off the charger. Not really a big deal. These are actually pretty well built. Uh, so you actually, in theory, could do that. Uh, they're light enough to do that. Okay, so momentarily here, before we get these on our head to see how they sound, one thing I wanna point out is the design of the headphones here. As you can see, it almost looks as if they could be worn either way, but actually this is the left side and this is the right side. So uh, you'll want them sort of the ear cups facing back, right? And the headband facing forward. Yeah, pretty cool and interesting. Uh, I was actually expecting the ear cups to be a little bit bigger upon getting into the box. I think the image of the headphones is blown up on the front of the box just a little bit. It makes them look a little bit bigger than they are. These are definitely a little bit smaller than what I was expecting, but uh, that being said, they are lightweight. They are really comfortable. Uh, these foam ear cups are really soft. Uh, there's actually three sound profiles here that JLab does include in the settings. Uh, it's three clicks to pretty much toggle in between them. Uh, you get a JLab signature setting, which when you do click the side of the headphone three times, it will give you one beep that will let you know that you're in JBL signature mode. Uh, I would probably akin that to maybe a bass reducer setting. Uh, when I usually, you know, talk between the EQ settings on my iPhone, for example, three clicks again will take you to a balanced mode that will indicate by two beeps. I thought that was probably more akin to a uh, flat EQ setting. Everything just sounded a little bit louder and a little bit fuller and a little bit richer. And then if you click three times on the button, uh, you do go into a bass boost mode. Uh, that will indicate via three beeps. But what was interesting about the bass booster mode here was that it still did not drown out the rest of the music. It actually made the bass just a little bit thumpier and a little bit louder and a little bit sharper, but the treble still sounded great. Usually when you go into a bass booster setting, uh, the rest of the music sounds just a little bit muddy and is drowned out by the bass, but not with these. These sounded absolutely phenomenal. One thing I also said earlier were that there are no LED indicator lights to let you know if it's paired or pairing or on or off or charged or charging. I was wrong. Uh, there actually is a little LED indicator light tucked inside the ear cup next to the charging port. So at the beginning of the video, I think you remembered me saying I could see myself you know, in New York standing on a subway listening to these with my Sony Walkman. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I could enjoy these on a subway or train or bus. Uh, walking around in town, definitely not on a plane. These are really quiet. Uh, I actually found myself having to listen to them at full volume to make any sort of uh, first impressions for you guys because uh, at half volume and at low volume, they were basically just inaudible. I could not hear. The music i mean it was still playing uh, you could hear it, but i mean you wouldn't want to enjoy your music uh, i mean no one listens to their music at the lowest volume but people do listen to their music at half volume i for one do like to listen to my music at a half volume when i'm taking a walk around the neighborhood and i just want to be able to hear cars coming around the corner for example but these were so quiet even at half volume that I couldn't enjoy the music. So yeah, I did find myself listening to these at full volume, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, that being said, when you do listen to them at full volume, because I think when you do pick these up, you're going to be listening to them at full volume. That's how quiet they are. You're not gonna get any creaking or rattling or uh, buzzing at the highest volume. They're not going to sound scratchy. They're going to sound fully composed and very high quality and very precise and extremely enjoyable to listen to. Also, these do have a built-in microphone. I'm actually gonna overlay a sound sample right now. Hey, what's going on, guys? So this is actually just a quick test here. I'm actually doing a simultaneous recording. I'm actually using the Voice Memos app on my iPhone, which I have connected to the JLab Audio Rewind. And then I'm actually doing another recording in another application on my 27 inch iMac. I'm just, yeah, if you like the JLab audio, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope this comparison actually worked out well. 
Anyways guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the JLab Audio Rewind Wireless Retro Headphones. I picked up at Best Buy for $15.99, down from $19.99 out of five stars. These do get 4.3 out of five out of 652 customer reviews. I can definitely see why they don't get upwards of four and a half stars. Uh, 4.3 stars out of five stars is actually the lower end. I will leave a link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. My name is John, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Also, please check out our merchandise store. There's some really cool stuff on there. All proceeds on that channel will go into this channel so that I can continue reviewing really cool products like this. Anyways, guys, my name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.